Hi, this is Amy and welcome back to the best food review road trip. We are still in Las Vegas and we are still hungry. And today we are at the Luxor, which is one of my favorite places to walk around and look. It's a beautiful hotel with lots of Egyptian motif and they've just never lost their theme. We're going into the buffet. We've tried other buffets in Vegas. We're hoping this one's a little bit better than what we've had on this trip so far. So why don't you come with us and we'll check it out. There's nobody here right now. It's the perfect time. Check it out. I don't think I've been to a buffet in a long time where there was nobody in line. Does that mean something? Oh. There's a ton of seating in this buffet and they have like four different drink stations. I just got some soda here. You can probably order alcoholic beverages. I don't know, I didn't even see a menu. Yeah, there's a asked. there's a bar, like a full bar. Oh, okay. Right no over bar. there, yeah. But we're just drinking soda right now. Mm. Yay, Diet Pepsi. We are here during brunch time, which means they still have breakfast items and uh, kind of a mixture of hot foods. I got a little bit of everything. I got uh, cheese blintzes, biscuits and gravy, bacon, two different types of hash. They had both like more of an American style hash and a chorizo hash over in the Latin breakfast area. And then uh, this pizza looked really good. Um, very different than the pizza we had at the last buffet. So I'm gonna dig into that first because that to me looks like the best. And I this thought is that pizza, that whole uh, area over there with all the selection, the pizza looked fantastic. It does, it's kind of, it's square pizza and it's like bready and stuff. Yeah. You know, it's like thick crust. Some of the crust was like that thick. I was like, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm starting to sound like an old lady. Mm. Is that food? You did. <laughs> no one's hot. That's really good. And you're like, are you eating pizza with a fork? Yes, I'm eating pizza with a fork. Okay. Two different types of blintzes. This one is a cheese blintz. Blintz, I like saying that word. How do you say blint? Is it blintzes? Blintzes? So this has oh, wow. kind of like a dry cheese filling that looks like ricotta, something like that. Um, it comes with powdered sugar. I didn't get any sauce or anything to add to it. I don't even know if there was. Mm. It's remarkably tasty. I thought maybe it would be kind of uh, stale or, um, I don't know, just been sitting under the buffet lights or dry. It is a little bit dry, but I think it's supposed to be because they did have another one that had like berries and stuff. Biscuits and gravy. Now these were tiny little like Pillsbury, you know, like the small Pillsbury can biscuits. And they're not very good. <laughs> Let's try some of this bacon. This is thin, really thin cut bacon. Mm. It's cooked nicely. Paul might have said, how can you screw up bacon? I can screw up bacon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now I'm going to try what I call the American hash. And I say that because it doesn't have chorizo in it. That was a really big, dry. big bite. <laughs> and it's really dry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> okay. I'll try some chorizo hash. That is so much better. I think it's fresher. So much better. I'm already looking at Paul's plate. I think yeah, I might yo, try yeah, a don't be things. looking at my plate. Well, I wanted to start off in just one section. It was the Asian section. That's why he was like, mm, I want a little bit of that. Anyway, check it out here. Now you're like, pizza, that's not Asian. No, it's not. But I had a little place, space left on my plate. So I was like, well, let's throw a little Italian in there. But as you can see, I got some white rice, some orange chicken. I think that's an egg roll. Looks like, uh, what is this, a dumpling here? Um, or a pot sticker? and then some fried rice and some chicken. I'm gonna start off with the fried rice and the chicken. It looks good. I'd say that's every bit as good as uh, Panda Express. So, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad, you know? I'd say for, um, for something that's familiar, definitely. All right. Try this uh, pot sticker. Mmm. 
very average. It's not very Asian. It's very average. Just like mush chicken in there or mush pork. Um, but, um, I mean, I'll eat it. You're going to eat the whole thing? No. I'm hungry. I've been eating it today. How can you go wrong with orange chicken, right? Let's hope not. Let's see. It's actually really strong orange. Like, way more than I'm used to, which is kind of cool, I guess. I'd say, once again, Panda Express-ish. I love Panda Express. I know you do. I know you do. I think that's a spring roll, not an egg roll. Oh, okay. If it has okay. vegetables in it, I think we'd call it a spring roll. Yeah. It tastes like, um... Freezer spring rolls like you get at the grocery store? Yeah, but 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 cooked well in the oven, cooked correctly. They're crunchy. You gonna eat the whole thing? No. No. This. Oh, it looks fantastic. Ready? Did you get mm. pepperoni? Or yeah, kind and of a bacon, mix? the pepperoni and oh, bacon on like there. A, like a meat lovers with the onions or something. Mm -hmm. Is there onions? No, I think that's, that's just all bacon on there. That's really good. That's like that's like DiGiorno quality. Oh, God. I got a few things that you saw Paul taste before, uh, but then I got a few different things. Now, I love that they have a full salad bar, but I went over to the pre-made salad side, got some potato salad, bean salad, and this is shrimp ceviche. And then the, uh, this is the fried rice. I, I'm gonna try one of those, was it a wonton? I thought it was a pot sticker. Pot sticker, yes. Yeah. Fried pot sticker. And then uh, I got this little guy. Just to oh, yeah. see what there. A little mud bug. We, one of our favorite places to visit and eat is um, the south of New Orleans, Mississippi. We had some of the best crawfish feeds. Texas, too. During the spring, you have to go down south. The crawfish boils are so good. This little guy, though, and all of his friends were just sitting by themselves. It wasn't like a boil, it was just like an add-on. And I am having a really hard time peeling this thing. Right. If you are from the South, you're like, girl, you need to learn how to peel a crawdad. I just don't want any of the brains. You guys don't eat that, do you? You suck the head, yeah? Yeah, of course. That's got a decent flavor. It's cold. Um, but let's see how the shrimp ceviche turned out. So it has lots of tomatoes and spices in there. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I just get like a blast of lime. I don't think that's cilantro. Probably. Mm. And ceviche, yeah, definitely. So good. Now bean salad, something we used to like to make all the time. So simple to assemble. Just throw a bunch of different beans and... <laughs> Mm. You know what? It's a nice accompaniment for a An salad. Yeah, it's got a nice vinegar level to it. And then I love potato salad. Everybody knows that. Mm. I would say that's grocery store's quality. Yeah. You know, I'm going to give that orange chicken a taste too because Paul had that. I'll tell you what I think about it. Wow. That is a powerful blast of orange in your mouth. Um, yeah, right? It's pretty intense. Yeah, I think if you like, if you're kind of like not into like authentic Chinese food, but American Chinese food, like this, you won't be disappointed with it. It's Food like this always has a tendency to dry out on a buffet. This was not dry. It tastes good. I'm very happy with it. The last thing I'm going to take a quick bite of. Very salty. Sticker. Yeah. It is not the worst pot sticker I've had. No, not at I all. I would say I would say I'm pretty satisfied. I could eat, probably eat a few of these yeah. if I didn't have all that other food on the <laughs> buffet line to try. Did you get it? <laughs> Check this out. I got a hard shell taco. It's got this, I guess it's supposed to be spicy chicken. I got a little bit of nachos with some uh, queso. This 
I guess it's a, I don't know guys, it's a meatball. Was it in the Mexican food? It was, that's why okay. I kind of had to grab it to see. And then down here is some spicy chicken. So I'm gonna start off, I, I, I gotta start off with the meatball because I'm just, don't know. Mexican meatball, all right. Mm. Okay, so like when you're in the grocery store and you get those little packets of uh, taco seasoning, that's what that is. It's so like a little a taco bit of that seasoning taco seasoning meatball? Yeah, yeah. Huh. I mean, I don't dislike it at all, but that's what it is. All right, spicy chicken. I'm assuming it's spicy because sitting on the top there was a giant red pepper. That's for people that don't know, maybe like, hmm, mm hmm. That is a spicy heat level of zero. Oh, you need to put some uh, hot sauce on it? Well, they gave me warm sauce and Tabasco. So I might, I might, but I just want to see, um, see what it tastes like as the chef intended it. All right, uh, the chef intended me to eat kidney beans and queso on chips, so. So no meat nacho. And that tastes exactly like kidney beans and chips with queso. All right, so this shell, when I got it, was pretty hard. Now it's completely falling apart. No fault of theirs. That means it's extra juicy. Look at my plate. Look it's at the taco juice. Taco juice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? I'd say that's um, that's um, taco shop quality. Not bad, actually. You know what? Good job, Luxor. That's not a bad little um, taco bar. I'm a little amiss by the service here. I mean, the cashier was fantastic, but since then, service has been weird, mostly because of this. This Stack is a of tower plates. of <laughs> plates that have been sitting here, and, and I'll tell you, it's not busy right now. So I have a, I have a suspicion. We were given the option to tip up front. We always like to cash tip because then it's a gift and it doesn't, anyway, that's just our preference. And I think that they look at the receipt because she tore it open. It was stapled shut, has a number two on it. Now it's torn open, it was laying here. I haven't seen her since. All right, friends, I am on plate number three. Three, that's right. three. holy cow. I know. I'm trying to get small enough bites. I think I overdid it this time. I feel a little bit bad leaving some of this behind, but I wanted to taste I'll it. I'll help you. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I went back to the breakfast section and I'm gonna try their um, chicken fried steak with country gravy. And then they have mashed potatoes with brown gravy. So I thought that was a good mix. Um, on the salad bar, they had some hummus dip and some pita bread, which I didn't notice the first time I walked by there. Um, this is a croissant, which that's got to be a challenge because, you know, these things are not very good if they're more than half a day old. And then they had a little they had a Simpsons donut. donut. They had a rack of donuts. This is a cake donut. It's really cute. Fun to look at. It's filled with jelly. Oh, my goodness. I just was like, that can't, that's like some really sweet frosting, but actually there's like a a ring of filling in there. That's interesting. Let's try this. Oh, so far. No, I. Steam coming out? It's not steam. It's not about being warm. So, laminated dough has so much butter in it that if it gets even a day old, it's stale. If you had a stale croissant, you know what I'm talking about. Mmm. <laughs> but these are good. Mmm. I need a plate of those. Okay. Mmm. -hmm. Keto wedge with some hummus on it. This pita is really dry, but the hummus is delicious. Very nice balance of salt and garlic. I like that. Check out these mashed potatoes. These are really smooth and creamy, and that gravy is just the right consistency. Now that, I don't know, it's like, I think everybody loves I had to wait for this because the girl in front of me put a ginormous pile on their plate. <laughs> I was like, you go, girl. Mm. That gravy is really salty, but in a good way. And then there I go again, like in the salt. And then finally, oh, I'm going to try I'm this. going to get you changed now. Now, I don't usually get chicken fried steak. This is usually Paul's dish. But um, 
I noticed when we walked up there, we're getting close to them turning the buffet over for dinner, I think. So, like, they took all the stanchions and stuff away where you have to, like, wait for food. Oh, okay, did I'm they? I'm excited. Maybe oh. we'll hang out here a while so we can try some more bites. Okay, that cuts so nicely. Let's see how it tastes. Not very good. <laughs> um, just the meat tastes really processed. And yeah, I'm not happy with Is that the at all. Is gravy any good? By itself? Yeah. We had some on the biscuits earlier. It's okay. I like my gravy to kind of stand up a little more. Like country gravy should be nice and thick. That shouldn't run off your food. It should kind of like blob on it. I don't know. I guess we all like our own thing. I am so excited. So every time we've gone up to the line, the uh, meat carving station has been a long line. I just went up there and there was nobody. In fact, the dude was just like, kind of like kicking it off to the sides. So I was like, sweet brother, fill me up. All right, so look at this. This looks like how it should be cooked, people. We just did another buffet over at the MGM and it looked nothing like this. And then I said, you know what? Throw in one of each of your sausages. So it looks like you put a couple of these and a couple of those and one of those. I don't even know, there was no label. I don't need a label. It's sausage. Mmm. That's um that's like Polish sausage. That's good. It's really good. This one looks a little smaller. It's a smaller Polish sausage. Yeah, look at the inside, totally different look. Mm -hmm. The other one almost looked like a andouille or a Well this one's a little drier. Yeah. Um Maybe but yes. no surprise, you know, it's kind of funny. They, they, when you go up to the carving guy, he carves it up and puts the meat up there, but they never say, do you want sausage or whatever? And so I wonder how many people pass it up and it just sits there. Now that looks like know. a Polish sausage because it's trimmed. Right. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. That's. All right, so. You're putting blood on the plate? Mm, well, not really blood, but juice. maybe a little bit of juice. I want to get a little bit of that, that fat in there. Ew. Oh, that's the good stuff. Right there, that's the Seriously, good stuff. Seriously, you going to eat that? Oh my God. Yeah, of course I'm going to eat that. What do you think? It's okay. It's not bad. It's cooked right. It's juicy. Um, could use a little more seasoning, but for buffet, that's spot on. Like what I would be expecting to get from the, the prime rib there. Now, one thing I'm a little disappointed in, I usually like to get shrimp in little the buffet. Sur little surf and turf. Those are so tiny. Look at that. I know. That is like the tiniest <laughs> little shrimp. Like I'm used to getting, you know, what, what do you do at the grocery store? They're like, large size, even medium size. I think these are small. That's like for um, salad. But the, you, you got them on the salad bar, didn't you? Uh, was there another Was there another no, spot that no, had no. them? No, no. Because usually that's where you get them and they're usually really big, so. Yeah. Oh, oh. I'm not too impressed with the shrimp, but the carving stuff, right on. For me, it's time for dessert and I couldn't decide what to get, so I'm gonna try a few different things here. They're small portions, so even if I don't eat them all, I won't be wasting too much. This was the last cannoli on the buffet, and everybody knows oh. better than to do that. Oh. You never take the last <laughs> one. But I'm gonna try it, and I'm gonna share it with Paul, because that's like our favorite dessert. I love carrot cake. This looks like a tiramisu cake, kind of layered there, and then this was some kind of berry crumble, like a apple strudel berry crumble Coffee cake? That's what it is, coffee cake. Ah. In fact, I'll start with the coffee cake. That was the most uh, freshest thing that she was setting up there. I'm wondering if MGM has centralizes their desserts, because some of them looked a lot like the ones we oh, had yeah? over there, yeah. Mm. Okay, so the sugary, crunchy topping on that coffee cake is so good. It's like pure sugar, it's like eating brown sugar. Mm. And I love tiramisu. This kind of looks gelatinous, though. 
I was, I mean, I that's cut right through unusual. it. That's not unusual. That's not unusual for tiramisu. Soaked. So if you don't know what tiramisu is, it's like sponge cake soaked in coffee and then layers of like heavy cream, creamy frosting. It's really fatty. <laughs> Mm. Actually, it's really light. It has just the right amount of coffee in it, but the texture is a little bit off for me. You know, it's really hard to get it right. And the carrot cake. It's a little bit, it might be dry. Oh. Yeah. It's dry. All right, there it is, the final cannoli. I can tell you already. It's squishy. squishy. Oh, I know. But you already grabbed it, you gotta bite it. Oh, you're suffering through it. <laughs> it didn't even crack. Mm. A good cannoli will have like a nice crunchy shell. In fact, if they do it right, they usually fill them right when you order them. Um, I'm not gonna say anything more about that. <laughs> Because it's about what I expected. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go run through there. You want to go get some dessert? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Let's see what he picks out. It's a really small dessert yeah, it's very buffet small. line, right? But everything looks kind of kind of good. I mean, kind of nice. It doesn't look like they just threw it on there. I went ahead and I picked up some red velvet cake. I got a little eclair here. I got some. Uh, what's that called? Like a strawberry Swiss roll. Right, a strawberry Swiss roll, and this is like a little short cake. Like a stack? shortbread, shortbread it's like a, stack. It's a shortbread, like a, a cookie sandwich, sandwich cookie. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Yeah. I'll start with that one. That's marshmallow in there. Oh. It tastes like a s'more almost without, I guess that's the chocolate on top. Oh, I bet you that's the flavor profile they're going that's for. That's a s'more. Yeah, 100%. That's really good. It's like a shortbread, like a you know, green No, like cracker. vanilla wafers, yeah. 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 Mm. Surprisingly good. I, I almost passed that up. I'm glad I didn't. I knew you were gonna, I knew you were gonna get that one. You know me, baby. That chocolate's it's hard on there. Look at that. It's not yeah. even breaking. Okay, there it goes. Ooh, that's gooey. That's yeah, well it's filled with, with like a Bavarian uh -huh. cream. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Wow. Two out of two? Good job, Luxor. Okay. Let's try this little strawberry eclair, or strawberry uh, It's like a strawberry Swiss roll. You know how sometimes you can see the um, mm -hmm. the zingers, the, like Hostess or right. Little Debbie or somebody makes, or just like that. Ooh. That is tart. Is it? Mmm. I could just sit here and eat these desserts all day. All right. Now it's Last time. but not least, red velvet. Red velvet. I don't. I don't usually get red velvet. That's not good. <laughs> usually, if, if, if it's bad, it's because it's been sitting around for a long time. Let's see. Well, you know what. You like four out of four? Good job, Luxor. Four out of four. I don't know if I've been to a buffet in a long time where I got four out of four. Good job. Now, before we go too deep into what we think of the Luxor buffet, I want to mention a couple things about it. First of all, if you want an inexpensive buffet kind of on the south side for dinner, this is probably going to be one of the few options you have. A lot of the other buffets around here shut down right around two, three o'clock. So that's kind of cool. We used our um, points again to get a two for one deal here. I think the two of us were able to eat for right around $30 coming in at around 1.30 in the afternoon. That time of day, we didn't have any weight at all. Um, and the service for the most part was pretty good. They finally did come up and clean the plates up off our table, so that was cool. This buffet dining room is clean, and I love how spaced out the things are, like especially around the salad bar. There's just a ton of space for people to kind of approach from any direction and get what they needed. Um, it's super clean in here, and I love the dining room decor. I think it just goes right in the same theme as the rest of the hotel. I kind of feel like I'm almost in a fancy restaurant. Food quality here, 
mm, I would say that about 75% of what we put on our plate, for the most part, we liked. Um, there's a few things we didn't, but I have to shout out for Paul Love, those chicken tacos. Um, the desserts were amazing. And we were actually really impressed with the pizza yeah, selection. Yeah, I think that was the showstopper yeah. right there. That was pretty amazing. The, the several different types of pizza. Yes. The different styles of pizza. I wish I could have tried. They even had some breakfast pizza. I didn't even put any of that on my plate, but it had like eggs and bacon and stuff on I didn't even see it. that one. Yeah, it was on me? the far right. Breakfast oh, pizza. Oh, man. So I think for the money it costs to eat here, it's probably so far for us the biggest bang for the buck on the strip. Thanks for joining us today. And as always, we encourage you to reach out to your local food bank or food shelter and see what kind of donations they're looking for. It's a great way to help out your community. So until the next time we dine together, stay classy.